All right, so uh, I got looking around online and uh, couldn't find any videos on how to replace these seals in here on the uh, on the 002 transmission, which is the uh, three rib. Um, I mean, I searched a pretty good bit and couldn't find nothing, so I figured I would do a video on it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I already got this new seal put in this side. If we look over here on this side. <coughs> You'll have to uh, pull your axle out. It's just a couple of bolts there. And these over here. The axle kind of comes together a little bit and comes out. And then uh, you'll end up looking at this, kind of. It's still got your cup on it. Uh, your axle cup here. This. This will be slid up on there. Like that. Kind of like that. <coughs> kind of kind of knock it on there with a rubber mallet but uh you'll be looking at that inside of here when you first look at it you'll you'll <laughs> when i first looked at it i was like damn there's nothing there it's just a blank space but there's a there's a puck that sits down inside of here you got to take a pick and get at the edge right here and pull it out and then once you do from the outside of your splines there If you can see it or not right there there's a groove right here and there's a c clip a circlip that fits in that groove you had to get a screwdriver and pick that clip out of there and then uh once you do that i took a puller it's just like a i don't know like a steering wheel puller basically put it on there use some of your axle bolts put through there and uh i mean it, it don't take a lot it, it shouldn't take like an impact or anything but just turn it out and uh, pull it on out. And then once you get it out, uh, the second problem I ran into after I got everything apart was finding the parts to put it back together with. Uh, the parts houses aren't gonna be able to find it. At least mine couldn't. Um, that's my old seal. But uh, I called Weedle, W-E-D-D-E-L, Weedle, out in uh, California. There's their information. And uh, they sent me a kit that came with everything. I think it was like 50 something bucks. Yeah, it was like $53 with shipping and all. And uh, it came with everything here. Minus that one seal I've already got put in, but it came with two seals. And if you look, your new seal compared to your old one is gonna be a little different. There's room to put this in there, but uh, you really got a hammer on it to get her in there put a socket on it and uh and knocked it on in there and uh if you'll notice your original holders if you're like me your original holders were made out of metal and uh apparently that wasn't a very good idea because that's all that's left of mine that and the uh <laughs> the powder coating i guess they put on it that's just a <laughs> a cover i guess that was on it so anyways they sent me these abs plastic holders um I don't know if there's any tension on that thing, but it doesn't seem like much to me. It's just flimsy plastic, but I guess as far as putting a load on it this way, it should hold. So uh, anyways, all this, here's your little uh, puck type deal I was talking about. And if you're like me, uh, my axle, I got the, I think they're two by three trailing arms. And uh, so I got a little more play in the suspension. The uh, axle, the end of the axle here had popped a hole in my old cap. So, but apparently that's a pretty common thing there. Uh, comes with new clips. There's a little C clip I was telling you about that goes in that groove. Uh, new, these little plates here sit like that. And then your screws. Thank God they sent new screws because the old ones were shot. I had to get them out with a pair of vice grips. So, but it'll be kind of like that. And then your uh, seal actually goes behind that. And that helps hold your seal in too because uh, that seal slides out pretty easy. It's a uh, it's pretty tight fit in there. And it's, I think it's kind of concaved inside the transmission so that it'll slide in and fit tight. I kept having problems with it sliding back out. These O-rings here... I'm guessing that they're supposed to go something like that. 
but uh, there's no groove or anything to hold them and my old gasket is still kind of decent and uh, the more I think about it the more I think that the uh, as long as that seal is good inside of there it shouldn't leak any fluid out so I'm gonna risk it without it and see what happens so uh, like I said if you're like me and you've been searching YouTube for a while and can't find anything on it here you go this will give you an idea you know I like to I like to watch videos on things to kind of see how they work before I start pulling it apart and see what I'm going up against so this ought to give you a good idea what you got what you're dealing with this is on a buggy but I mean it's the same transmission as a 68 to a 74 bus maybe it's just a, the 0023 rib and uh, if you'll look on your transmission I don't know if a lot of y'all know up here on the top there's three ribs so there's a three rib, a five rib, and a six rib, and then a side loader and a couple other ones too. But but uh, if you got a three rib, this is what you got to look forward to. So uh, thanks for watching.